Today we are going to be learning about how to find the area of rectangles. Those two ways are finding the dimensions and multiplying them together or counting the unit squares. So what is area? Area is the amount of space that covers the surface of a shape. For a rectangle, the area is the length times the width. So on this rectangle, the length is one, two, three, four units, and the width also is one, two, three, four units. So to find the area of this rectangle, we will multiply four times four to get an area of 16 units squared. So what is a unit square? A unit square always has dimensions of one by one. In this lesson, we are going to be using the unit of inches. Let's find the area of this unit square. We're going to multiply one times one to get an area of one inch squared. Instead of just writing out the word squared, we're going to be using the exponent two, which explains the same idea. Now, let's split our rectangles into unit squares. Here we have two different rectangles made up of unit squares. Even though they have different dimensions, do they have the same area? Well, let's find out. We have now split both rectangles into unit squares. But how many unit squares are in each shape? That's right! There are 12 unit squares in each shape. Therefore, the area of both rectangles is 12 units squared. We can now see that both rectangles have the same area. So now we know that there are two ways to find the area of a rectangle. One way is to multiply the length times the width of a rectangle. In this rectangle, the length is 3 and the width is 2. So we're going to multiply 3 times 2 to get an area of 6 units squared. The second way to find area of a rectangle is to count the unit squares. In this rectangle, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units squared, and they have the same area. You can also use these steps to find the areas of pools, yards, and bedrooms. Have fun calculating area. Thank you!